hello and everybody and welcome back to another video my name is Visha and welcome back so today we're going to be doing a fall decorate with me um, I'm just going to show you guys my thinking process of what I have done so far we today we will be doing the dining room the living room and the kitchen okay so just sit back relax and enjoy and also have you guys started decorating for fall already or have you started decorating for Halloween do you guys have a theme let me know down in the um, comments below so this year we do not have a theme and just to let you know we don't have a theme we're just going with things that we already have had from um, last year the previous years and then also you know guys know I bought a whole bunch of flowers this year from Dollar Tree so that's just what we're doing just traditional fall nothing fancy I just wanted it to be up because fall is my favorite season also let me know guys in the comments below too when will you be decorating for Halloween um I'm going to be decorating for Halloween in like the next two weeks, the next two weeks or a week or so. So we shall see. So look out for that content as well. So yeah, if I have anything else to say, I will pop back in. So just watch. <laughs> Turn me inside out, out, make my heart speak. Leave no one else. You're all I need. Personality, everything you do. It's me to love everything about you. So does anybody else do this? Um, you see things laying around and it's, you know, that it will look good in something that you're doing. Yeah, that's very much me. You're going to see that throughout the whole video. I'm, I'd like to change my mind a lot, like if it's not to my liking. So yeah, this is it. This is the final tablescape. And now we're going to the living room. Guys, this living room seriously took me like an hour um, to decorate it to do it because I've, I honestly felt like I was missing a lot of stuff and <laughs> as you saw earlier in the video I had two um, big fall bins but I honestly feel like I'm missing some more things so yeah so this living room took me a little minute to get it together because I didn't want too much things on the table and I did not want too much things on the TV stand either. So you will actually see that. And this is where I talk about with my thought process. How I changed my mind a lot with my decorations. And also guys, Nivelle was a big help when it came down to me decorating. Because I am so simple. The most simplest person ever. But she's like very detailed when it comes to decorations. So she did help me out a lot here with this decorate with um me so it's a me and a veil decoration so yeah i'm just showing you there i gotta clean off the um tv stand and we'll just go from there i swear it's time to keep these feelings to myself now you're the one i'm thinking of my higher grandma i get love for gravity i'd rather stay up here we can get away Palm trees, beach views on a night day. All I wanna hear is an image that we play. Sit right next to you.
So the sign says believe you really can't see it because it actually kind of camouflage i got this from ross like five or six years ago when we were in fort hood so yeah and as you can see i changed the decoration on the table <laughs> on the coffee table because i i didn't like the other look it looked it too that looked it too 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 plain so this one looked it better with my welcome sign my little farm of pumpkins i think that was just so cute and now we're just going to go ahead and go towards the couch and now the couch is my favorite part as well because it's a touch of me um as you guys are gonna see i got these pillows last year from walmart they were like five dollars um for like a set of two because they did come in a set of two and they were five dollars and also i made um these pillow covers for the pillows that go on the couch and i don't know if i showed that last year or not but yeah i actually sewed it like the envelope pillowcase with my sewing machine and so i did that one last year and then i did two like they're like goldish color ones those right there i did those too and i really don't keep the pillows on the couch unless it's a holiday um the pillows usually stay in the bin or they stay upstairs in the linen closet i only bring it out for decoration other than that it's seriously plain on the couch
so this is the finished look of the living room it is so pretty and i'm also going to link in the description box um the music that i get it from is naturally sunny love her she's the plug when it comes to the music so here goes the kitchen um i just did one little simple area and i'm just gonna like remove all this y'all i'm so bad but do y'all see this christmas stuff from last year <laughs> that was still up there i never put it away but i went ahead i cleaned it i washed it and it's going to be put in bins like the christmas bins because we're not decorating this year for christmas because we are moving so that will be in bins um until next year so yeah so i just went ahead cleaned this area off this to me was like a catch-all area um which i kind of don't like i really don't like catch-all areas in the kitchen but that's just where like i could just throw stuff and like just kind of like hide it i know what's there it's food of course but at least i know what was there it's kind of like my coffee area but we don't have a coffee maker anymore because it broke so i was just putting like random stuff over there um that i would see in the morning that i need like my oatmeal my wheatgrass my chlorophyll bananas lemons and all of that so how got my little bouquet y'all all this stuff came from the dollar tree I just want you guys to know that everything that I have decorated with and this decorate with me, it came from the Dollar Tree. Um, so just keep that in mind. You do not have to be very expensive. Stay within your budget. Um, do not be, you know, trying to compete with anybody else on YouTube. I stay within my financial means. I do not, if it's not on sale at Hobby Lobby, I'm not getting it. <laughs> if I can find it somewhere cheaper other than Dollar Tree, then, you know, 50 cents here or there, then I would do that. So just stay within your means. But I think this came out so cute, um, that little bouquet. And I had to flower it and garden from Dollar Tree since last year. And I don't remember why I bought it, but it was, I, I think I just bought it in the spring of last year because it was pretty, I'm just that type of person. And the flowers are in a mason jar. So, and we are going to go ahead and fill it. That's my little catch, my little filler um, for fall, which I think is just so pretty. And I'm just going to show you the acorns in my hand, um, just to show you that it's a filler bag. Hey guys so thank you so much for watching all the way to the end and if you have done that go ahead and leave me three pumpkin emojis okay but until next time again thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe peace